told you all I'd bring you more Xbox Live titles, and I'm following through, especially considering Square Enix gave me early access to their new title, Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light. Created by Crystal Dynamics and releasing this Thursday, August 18th for Xbox Live, and September 28th for the PC and the PlayStation Network, Guardian of Light takes the Lara Croft franchise to new levels by offering a fixed isometric view and co-op gameplay. While it's been quite some time since I've played a Tomb Raider title, I find myself immediately immersed into what appear to be equal parts of combat, platforming, puzzle solving. If you're still looking for a great new downloadable title for 15 bucks, this is definitely one you should check out. So let's jump right in. Here's Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light. According to Aztec myth, the region we call the Yucatan is an ancient battleground where the human followers of Totec, the Guardian of Light, once waged a catastrophic war against the demonic forces of Zolot, the Keeper of Darkness. The game opens with Lara tracking down an ancient artifact called the Mirror of Smoke, which leads her to a hidden temple of light. When she finally tracks it down, a local mercenary group led by a man named Vasco shows up and steals the mirror, releasing its power, an evil demon named Zolot. As Zolot kills off Vasco and his troops, Totec, the Guardian of Light, is also awoken and teams up with Lara to hunt down the demon and retrieve the mirror before the world is covered in darkness. It kind of sounds like an Indiana Jones adventure to me, but hey, Lara Croft and Indy have a lot in common. Beyond that, there isn't too much to the story. There are only three characters in the game and the plot is pretty simple, but that's not really the point of a title like this. It's all about the action, adventure, and platforming. No, not the darkness you have unleashed. Zolot will drown this world in blood! No need to be dramatic. Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light contains 14 levels and should take you about 8 hours or so on your first playthrough. Each level has its own objectives and they can be played all over again from a mission selection screen upon completion. Your first playthrough is going to take some time as you'll need to explore the areas and learn their secrets if you're going to come back and master all those bonus objectives, so luckily you've got great replayability. On top of that, over the next few months, five expansion packs will be released granting you access to additional levels and even new well-known playable characters. In addition, there are several items that will unlock for you as you play through the game including new outfits for Lara and a mercenary outfit for your avatar. What's great is that the co-op multiplayer is supported, but there is a caveat. Until September 28th, via a free patch, only local co-op is supported, so if you don't have a buddy playing with you on the couch, you're not going to be able to enjoy multiplayer over Xbox Live. While you play, there's a great auto-save system built in that's a godsend because if you're like me and want to master all the puzzles, you're going to die a lot. Luckily, the autosave system prevents you from having to backtrack too much. It's also important to note that the only penalty for death is a loss of points, which should only affect you if you're trying to complete the score-based bonus objectives for each level. Finally, I have to point out that I did run into an annoying bug on one of the levels that prevented me from moving on. Essentially, a door didn't trigger to open and I got stuck in an area and had to restart the level three times before it worked properly. While it was quite annoying, at least the level was fun enough that it wasn't too bad to have to replay it a few times. The single player and co-op versions of the game have the same missions, but the way in which you solve the puzzles will be different. Totec has some unique abilities in that he has a shield that can block arrows and can be used as a lift for Lara, and he can tie rope across Lara's grapple. He also has a spear that can be used as a weapon and as a temporary stair to assist in platforming. In single player, Lara gains access to the spear, but in co-op only Totec may use it. The story also changes a bit in the various game modes as in single player, Totec essentially runs ahead of Lara and isn't involved much, but obviously he's there the entire time in co-op. Each level has a variety of puzzles and platforming challenges that can be solved many different ways. The levels are all just very well designed with clever puzzles and tricky traps. Each mission has several objectives, typically involving obtaining certain scores, completing the level in a certain amount of time, or collecting hidden items. There are even hidden challenge areas in each mission that have the most dangerous traps but the most powerful rewards. Along the way you'll collect relics and artifacts that may be equipped via the inventory screen that grant access or penalties to various statistics like Lara's weapon damage, defense, or speed. 
In addition, Lara will gain access to many different types of weapons, which is new to the series, including pistols, rifles, shotguns, machine guns, rocket launchers, and even a flamethrower. As I began my first playthrough of the game, I immediately was reminded of Diablo. The fixed isometric view was a great addition to the game and really got me hooked. For an Xbox Live title, the graphics are amazing. Hell, if I didn't know any better, I'd think this is a full-priced feature-length title, but the cutscenes and animations kind of give it away. While there's a few game-related cutscenes here and there that look pretty good, the majority of the story is told through comic book-style animations. There are only two voice actors in the game, one for Lara and one who plays both Totec and Zolot. Lara's voice is wonderful and so is Zola's, but I found Totec to be a bit cheesy, but it's really not that important considering there's hardly any dialogue in the game anyway. The mysterious and action-packed soundtrack is fully orchestrated and really keeps you in the mood. I don't think I could have asked for a more pleasant presentation for a downloadable title like this. This world will crumble at my feet and you will be the first to die! Seriously, this game is damn fun. I only wish I had more time to go back and play it more, but duty calls and I've got a full lineup of new releases that I've got to review for you. Nonetheless, Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light is absolutely a title you should check out if you're into action-adventure platforming titles. With a perfect blend of intense combat, tricky platforming, and complex puzzles, you're going to have your hands full for a while if you plan on completing all the mission's bonus objectives. For a mere $15, I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't want to check this game out. I played through the entire game as single player, as I didn't have a buddy to play with me locally, so I can't wait until the patch is released next month to open this bad boy up to co-op over live. It certainly is the summer old fun with downloadable titles. Which downloadable title are you currently looking forward to? Leave your questions and comments below. Check out the full write-up, screenshots, and gameplay footage over at ZeitgeistGameReview.com. Stay up to date by following me on Twitter, and check out my other channel Zeitgeist Other for gameplay footage. Don't forget to subscribe and press the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching.